What's up, friends? Y'all ever seen anybody resto mod a lawnmower? Would you like to? Y'all are watching Doug V Carburetor. I'm Doug. That thing has a carburetor. We're going to be messing with that thing. I got a big plan for it. Uh, so I want to make it into something other than a lawnmower, but that'll be another video. Today, I want to go over it because I do think it's a rare historic model. I'd like to see if we can't get a run in and then maybe take uh, stock of what we have and don't have on it. Uh, and just really get a feel for this piece of machinery that I picked up off the side of the road about three years ago now. And it's been sitting uh, in the pile of shame out behind the house ever since. I knew at some point I was going to do a DOA revival on it. Uh, and I think I'm ready. I've been fixing snowblowers all winter, which I love. It's my favorite thing in the world to fix. Go watch some of our other videos if you like snowblower repair. But I want to do something fun. So we're going to do something real fun with this if we can get the old Tecumseh running. All right, friends, like I said, we got some pretty big plans for this thing. So the first thing I wanna do is get the handlebars off to get them out of the way. Uh, this is a historic unit. I don't know the date yet. I do have a Roper part number over here. I actually looked up that part number, AT23R1, didn't really come up with anything. Uh, Roper made small uh, power equipment. I think they made water pumps, maybe some other stuff. Now the branding on this is actually Rickle, which if you're from New Jersey or New York or Pennsylvania, you may know them, but probably not. Rickle was a small, uh, not too small, they had about 90 locations in the 60s, 70s, and 80s uh, hardware store in New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania. So what I'm thinking is this is a Roper machine. It's got a Tecumseh motor and Rickle licensed it. Uh, I found a couple pictures of these online, but uh, with different branding other than Rickle. So I'm guessing this was a white box thing. Roper made these, and if you had a mom and pop store and you wanted to brand your own lawnmower, you get it. Anyway, like I said, let's start, uh, work on getting the handlebars off. these little they're not cotter pins what would you call that well they're definitely jesus clips right so when they go flying what do you make you say jesus put our jesus clips back and we got to remove the flywheel brake because i believe that's the only thing still holding these handlebars on and that'll be the only thing precluding us from spinning the motor over i don't even know if this thing is seized yet I'm sure y'all can't see, but there's a little hole right here. You can put a small screw or screwdriver through and it'll actually hold that brake up. And now, now we can mess with the motor however we need to. Now there's a very good chance we're not gonna really use any of this in the next iteration, but I don't fully know how it's all gonna come out. So I'm gonna be nice and careful taking things apart. That way if we need anything, we have it. If we don't need it, well, you can throw it out later. Friends, let's see about spark now that we know that we're not seized. Hmm, spark plug was not even remotely tight, but that happens. Oh, she don't look too bad. Grand, grand scheme of things, right? Is that apparent to you guys? Whether you could see or not, it's there. Take my word for it. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I'm sure at some point we'll have the flywheel off, so maybe we'll try to clean the points anyway, as I'm assuming this thing has points. Alrighty, friends. Make sure there's nothing under here. Oh yeah, because we're about to lift off. Oh, let's take a look at that while we're here. That blade's in pretty good shape, isn't she? Oh, let me tilt you guys up so you can see. Whew. Yeah, this deck is in good shape, man. They used to make them, you know? Friends, hope you was. I tell you what, that's what we in the business call a result. This son of a gun's a runner. My goodness. All right, let's get to the carburetor. I'm going to disconnect the spark plug just on account of because it's a good habit. Whether you're working on a snarblower or a lawnmower 
or whatever, if you're gonna have your hands all up in there, just take the spark plug out, why not? That tank's not bad. I will run some fuel through it, but y'all can see it's pretty good. Uh, less great, you know, definitely some, uh, but not tea bag. This is an interesting setup. I'm starting to get 80s vibes. What I really want to see is if there's any fuel in there and if it comes out looking awful. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm getting that real good old smell. Whoo, buddy. You know what it smells like? It smells like the back of grandma's, grandma's shed. You know grandma's shed? Grandpa's been gone for about a decade now. The only person that goes in there is the kid who mows the lawn. Oh man, <coughs> real old gas and mouse nests. Do you see this stuff that's dripping here? Now what's interesting is this isn't a two stroke, so <laughs> I don't think it's a two stroke, right? No, it's not a two stroke. Um, what's interesting is that uh, the fuel looks like that. That's what's interesting. And this isn't a two stroke. We had that snapper recently that looked like this, but that was the result of very old, very crappy oil. I don't know what's going on there. That looks like green jello, just dripping out of that carburetor. Oh man, look at that. Holy Halliburton, Batman. Is that flashlight? That's the good good. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't understand. Okay, ready? What's going on there? Is that two stroke fuel? There is water in it, but I mean, who cares, right? So, you're gonna have to listen to that for pretty much the rest of the disassembly. All right, there's that out of the way. Deal with that another day. All right, now I'm gonna pull the um, float and the needle out now so that I don't risk losing them or something. I think it's the three and a half and some idiot put two stroke in it. That's the only thing I can guess right now. Looks like friggin' tar, don't it? I'm actually gonna put the carburetor in hole for right now, like this, tube, bracket, everything. If we have to do it again, we will. I think we're gonna be doing multiples on this one anyway. Alrighty friends, we're up to 25 degrees Celsius. I have no idea what that is in American, but it's probably warm enough. Is, is it 70? Five? I, I don't know. Uh, time that up. Good to go. Oh, well, there you have it, friends. <clears throat> Those are valves, so this isn't a two-stroke. I mean, we knew that. I was just still really very, very confused about the, uh... I don't know, what, what, what do you call that? It's like, um... It's like lime Kool-Aid. Yeah, lime Kool-Aid. I think somebody must have put two-stroke fuel in there, because I don't know how fuel ends up green like that if they didn't. found that in there. It's up in there somewhere. No big deal. I'll bring y'all back in when the ultrasonic cleaner's done. First and foremost. Oh, the jet looks pretty good, right? Nice. That's good. That, that gives me a lot of hope. I'm going to wing that back in there. Let it do a little more. That's fine. Carburetor, how's she look? Yeah, that can go back in a little longer too. The needle and everything though, that's good. So, oh yeah, this float definitely needs some more. All right, so not, not quite there yet. No big deal. All right, friends, carburetor, it went through the ultrasonic cleaner. I'm putting her back on. You may notice we've got a brand new button over here. <clears throat> what happened was uh, 
I went to blow out the carburetor after it came out of the ultrasonic cleaner with the air compressor and I forgot that on these um, carburetors that have the integral uh, primer bulb you can't blow air straight up the emulsion tube because you'll <laughs> you'll blow this thing out. So uh, I put up a little short on this channel. If you want to see it, I'll leave a link right there on how to change these. It's pretty easy. You just need a little socket. But the point is we're, uh, we're pretty much done now with getting this thing running. I think the carburetor is all cleaned out. I don't really bring you guys in on that one because, uh, I don't know, we've done full resto videos, revival videos a million times on the snowblowers and stuff. The point of getting this thing running is really not just to get it running, but to do something else with this. So this is just the first video. Where did I put the screws for that thing? <clears throat> there we go. This is just the first video in, in what's going to be a longer series on this one. I'm not going to give you guys any more hints than that. So we're going to tighten these down. We'll throw some gas in it and see if she wants to run. Should be good to go. Let's see. What could preclude us from running? Um, I don't know. Nothing. We're good to go. I mean, this this is pretty dirty, but I think it's probably going to be all right to run. Oh, you want to check the oil? Just to make sure it has some. I don't care if it's crappy or not. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you love you love to see this. People don't get these tight enough. See how loose it was? I mean, granted, I know I just loosened it, but it was loose. And that's what all this oil here is. It just, it's just, you know, slowly seeping oil out. Uh, usually when you see a unit and the small engine's all covered in oil. Oh yeah, look at that. You guys see? So that's pretty good. Good enough for gumming work. Don't know if there's any water in it, but... Uh... Nah, that looks fine. Beautiful. Let's throw some go juice in it, we'll take her outside. Take your bets. Uh, I'm gonna use this spring to just set the governor since we don't have the throttle linkage set up. Uh, I pretty much just want her hanging wide open. No reason to mess with anything else. How are we gonna stop this thing? I guess we'll just pull the spark plug, eh? Here we go. Cough sputter and then no starty no more, eh? Is that how we're gonna do it? Huh. I'll be a dog on. Alrighty friends, <clears throat> as expected, uh, the seat was a little bit swollen. You can see it was uh, starting to deteriorate a little bit and I have to assume it was not allowing fuel to get into the bowl efficiently. The result is, hey, we've got a runner. See that? I don't have the uh, flywheel brake on, so I had no way to stop her. I tried to just pull the uh, the spark plug wire there, and I'll be dipped if it wasn't bridging well over an inch. Y'all saw that, right? I hope it showed it up on the camera. Anyway, so I am going to end this video here because I didn't really want this one to be a super long one. Right, Joe? That leaf's hanging off you, baby. How did you even... Is that your leaf? Oh, that's a JoJo leaf. Okay, you got it. Uh, we got a bunch of other stuff coming on this one. Uh, some of it is just going to be aesthetic modifications, and we're going to try to make it not a lawnmower anymore. You can leave your comments, your guesses down there in the squawk box. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, definitely tune in. You're going to want to subscribe and see what else we do with this thing. I mean, if you're like me, if you're a lunatic monkey with the toolbox, you're going to want to see what we do. So, thanks for watching. See you.